It's on the radar. We in a different studio today. Mm -hmm. But I'm here with Lamont since here. What yeah, up, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so sincere. W welcome. <laughs> you know, he popped up um he popped up on my Instagram um like a, a month ago and you reached out to me and I was like, Oh, this is perfect. And I listen and I was listening to your EP which dropped in August and yeah, I got man. some really dope vibes from it. And we and we we're gonna get into that and all that yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. But first I wanna like let the people know, you know, a little bit about you, where you're from, where you grew up. Uh -huh. So, you know, where are you from? I'm from Brooklyn, New York, born and raised. Like, I've been there almost my whole entire life. Man, it's, it's rough, man. Brownsville, it's just, just really, really rough. And just, like, it's crazy, man. Like, I had to, like, situations where I had mm -hmm. to, like, get off the train and, like, change my directions of going home. And it's rough, man. I'm just happy that, like... I just got my situation better and I'm like was able to like leave Brooklyn and like move so, somewhere else. Yeah, that's dope. And I so what's interesting about you is you know, so you know, I have like a lot of rappers on the show and stuff like that and I never really hear um about like, you know, people who coming out of those type of neighborhoods like, you know, being a being a singer, songwriter, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mostly you're like rapping and stuff like that. So how uh -huh. did you really get into um like singing, you know, instead of like, you know, taking oh, the ladder? Man, as a kid, I was used to go to choir. Like I was in choir and gotcha. stuff like that. Was it my like dad, a church thing? Yeah, or? it was like a church thing. My gotcha, dad gotcha. put me in choir. Mm -hmm. He was like, "Yeah, man." He said cuz my dad sings too. Right. So he was like, "I'm going to put you in choir. I'm going to teach you the ropes." Cuz he plays the piano and stuff like that. So he was like, "I'm going to teach you how to sing. I'm going to teach you how to play the piano." But before I do that, yeah. I have to put you in choir. I have to put you in a choir because that's like the the fundamentals of like singing and being a real singer. Right, so, right, right. So I learned from there and then I learned how to like project myself, how to sing hard, how not to sing hard. Also, um, certain notes, how to like hitting certain notes and like such throwing a song like that. So, so yeah. um, so looking at your music and stuff like that, would you say yeah. that um, like church choir music kind of like a like yeah, it definitely, makes... definitely, definitely helped me like get to where I'm at now as far as with my vocals and stuff like that. Do you think like kind of like not like church music, but like a gospel sound is something that you're going to experiment one day cuz I know like right now like the music that you put out is very like arm like classic arm no, 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 I'm, like not, I'm, I'm not I'm not going I don't see myself I'm not going to see yeah, myself like, doing gospel like a, but a little Kanye West having the um, um, the entire orchestra maybe, in the background maybe 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 as far as like production wise right. yeah but as far as me singing gospel no nah, I don't see myself doing no gospel music so you, I like gospel music though, right 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 so your influences gospel. you know your dad's a big influence on that yes, um, for sure. singing wise who you know kind of who kind of do you like look up to oh uh, man I it can, can be see. like past present man let me tell you I'm gonna take it old school 112 well not staying old school old school but middle middle school 112 <laughs> <laughs> 112 you know jagged edge you know usher those cats, like those. I guess some. Are, I guess some Usher vibe. I, Usher. I do get some Usher vibes. Now, if you want to go back, 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 you got the Temptations. Right, right. You got even. I mean, they, I mean, they're not a real group, but the Five Heartbeats. You know, that that movie. I mean, you can, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean you it's based can, on you a can, true you story. Categorize it like that. Yeah, it's based on a true story. But those guys, even like also like like I was saying, middle age, like the middle like age, like Marsha from like Floetry. Right. Stuff like that, so I, I I dibble and dabble for everybody. Right, which I noticed, and uh, so we let's get into your new so your new EP, which okay. dropped in August. Yeah, mixed emotions. August thirty first, super dope. I think I appreciate it. Four songs. Yeah, man. Four so, songs. I I, I kind of we kind we talked about. Can I can I talk about yeah, the beat? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Talk <laughs> about the beat. All right. So when uh so when you you told me the project was out and all that, I was listening to it. You know, getting ready to talk to you today, mm. and I noticed something on it, right? And you can't you can't play me like that because Take Care yeah. was like my favorite album growing uh in like in my sophomore year of high school. Yeah. So you got a song on there, right? Mm -hmm. And. You have kind of not the take care beat, but the vo like the vocals from the background of yeah, the, of um, the, 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 we'll, we'll be was it will be fine. I think it's will be fine. Yeah, right? will be fine. We'll be fine. So yeah. how did you? What was like the process of kind of like getting those vocals, um, and kind of like flipping them into making it like your own? And well, you know, I heard well the the sample they well nowadays people do like sample kits. Mm -hmm. So they'll do like a Drake kick. They'll do like a oh, OVO okay. kick. So I found that in a kit. And I was like, yo, I like this sample. That's some real a lot. Age yeah, yeah, shit. yeah. So I was like, I like this, I like this kit a lot, and I like the sample a lot. Mm -hmm. But I was like, how can I like make it into my own though? Right. So what I did was, I was like, I was like, let me change the pitch a little mm -hmm. bit and let me reverse it so it could sound like my own instead of sounding like the record that's already out. Mm -hmm. And then that's how I went from there. I mean, it's they always have kits of people's records and stuff, but right. they just they what they want you to do is. Don't do it just like them. They want you to change it up 
and make it into your own. Right. Instead of doing the same thing. Yeah, because that's I, when exactly I was what I did. Yeah, because like <laughs> like we were talking about um before the camera started rolling, like it's identifiable. Yeah. But you can't really. But like off the rip, it's not something that I would. I I was immediately like. Oh wait, is this this? Yeah. Like you made you flipped it in such a way where it's like, oh, yeah. this like it's like a little like a little nod, but it wasn't mm-hmm. like something that was too obvious to like you know the average person's ear. Just like you know someone who's like into music and stuff like that, yeah. which I thought was dope. So Appreciate talk, t- so tell me about the rest of this EP, man. So- well, basically, it's mixed emotions. Basically, I mean the title speaks for itself. It's mm-hmm. like you go through mixed emotions from you go from happy, sad. In the middle, depressed, and then you just go from, I don't want to do it no more. Yeah. So the songs tend to catch every aspect of those emotions. So that's why I did four songs, because right. four four thing, four emotions are usually those things. I had happy, mm. sad, mad, or just depressed. Got you. So I just wanted to like just put it in there like that. So that's why I did only four. So do each of those songs have their own like little backstory to them? or? Yeah, they just... I basically, what happened was with that EP, I was with a girl and we was like just going through like. <laughs> see, I, so you said it for me. I didn't even need to say nothing. Uh, oh, with, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. Let's go. Let's get. Let's, the best yeah, it's about so. the best yeah, yeah, project. Yeah. So basically, I was, I was, I'm with this girl and there's like just mixed emotions. It speaks for itself. Mm-hmm. It's just like you go from, oh, lovey, dovey, dovey, dovey. And then you go from, I'm going to party with you too. I hate you. To why you ain't do this, why you ain't do that, or mm. what are you doing in the DMs and blase blase, and then I don't wanna talk to you on the phone, and right. then at the end, I'm sorry, I love you. Yeah. So it goes from like all different. And now that worlds. now that you like tell me about like the whole the whole um idea of like the four emotions and like the the ride that yeah. you were trying to like you know take listeners on, yeah. I ca- I see that because like you know going back to the to the last song and with the with the Drake sample and all this and that like it sounded like kind of like the last song was like a kind of dark darker like tone song compared to like the other songs exactly. on the album. See, I didn't notice that, but now that but now that I do like that makes it like so much doper because yeah. like you know I like when um I think it was I think it's cool that you were really trying to like send a message with the album you know Mm -hmm. i feel like a lot of people just kind of like put projects out and you know and and that's it but like this one actually had like a roller coaster ride right so i know you got uh mentored by dougie fresh right yeah i did that was the big homie dougie fresh so how did so i'm I'm, we're gonna talk about like how like you linked up with a bunch of people i want to know how this came about because this is that's that's dope you know yeah yeah that's that's a lot of people and it's so crazy because a lot of people don't get to encounter Dougie Fresh as far as on a mentor level. He right. he choose and pick who's he mm-hmm. he choose and pick who he wants to like mentor. So right. I was lucky to be one of those people. So how that happened is I knew his sons in Brooklyn. One of right. his sons in Brooklyn, his name is um they call him Drop Top Slim, but everybody know him as Day Day. Mm-hmm. So I used to like, you know, play with him. We used to, you know, we was homies. Well we are still homies to this day and we was just like brought up, we grew up together in the park and played basketball and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, as we got older, you know, we started taking music serious. He started doing his rapping thing and then I started singing. I was in a group back in the day, like a singing group and oh, stuff. Oh, like a little boy yeah, band type Yeah, little okay. boy band. I did it all. I, I, did, I was in five different boy band no groups, way. man. No that's, that's actually, that, now that's a yeah, story. Yeah, man, I'm t- we can talk about that later. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we was like... Um, we childhood friends, and then, mm-hmm. you know, as we got older, you know, things started getting serious because, you know, our mindset started getting better and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So he was like, yeah, man, um, I want you to come up to Harlem because, you know, Dougie is in Harlem. Right. So he was like, I want you to come up to Harlem. I want you to, like, do music with us and stuff. I want you to meet my pops. Because I met him, like, he would come on a block here mm-hmm. and there and there, but I never met him on a you level never, like, formally yeah, met him. Like, formally you never introduced, him. you just kind of saw him, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Got you, got you. So it was more of a face-to-face good talks with him and stuff like that. So we, he told me to come up to Harlem, and I started coming up there. I met his pops. Man, the talks with Dougie, man, is amazing, man. The gems so like is a lot of like A lot of the, insight. The stories. Best story. What? The industry. St- oh, my gosh. The best stories or ever. Or not best story, because I don't want to divulge any like industry no, stories. No, no, here, no, no, like- no. But one of the one of the pioneers to give you those stories, he yeah. got the best. He got one of the because best Because he's seen stories. it all happen, you he's know? He's seen it. He's seen everything. Right. But, um, what yeah. was the best advice he gave you? He was saying, like, he's like, you got talent, man. He was mm-hmm. like, you got talent. He's like, you either, he's like, you either use your talent or you don't use it. It's, there's no in between. Mm-hmm. He said, if you continue using your talent, at the end of the day, man, you have no choice of being successful. That's what he told me. That's dope. He said, you have no choice of That's being successful. That's some real straightforward. Yeah, to the straightforward. Point 
I, I mean, I could go on and I know. On, I'm sure there's like a, a bunch of gems. Yeah, 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 man. So do you still talk to him and all yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I still talk day? to him here and I call him and be like, how's he going? Mm-hmm. Like when his birthday, I say happy birthday to him. Do you play music for him? Yeah, of course. I, play, I actually played music for him, Andre Harrell. Wow. I played music for Diddy before too. Cause that must it's have so been, crazy. That must have been an ex- <laughs> yeah, experience, because, man. Man, yeah, big, big, What was like playing music for Diddy? It's, he's tough. you know Diddy, one of the yeah, harshest yeah, yeah, critics, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. He's... Man, he's you see tough, that meme man. of him, uh, um, hit, that meme of him, um, the one where it's like him and, and the Odell Beckham Jr. looking guy, yeah, they're just yeah. staring at each other. That's how I feel like it is playing music for Diddy. Man, listen, Diddy is tough. You could pay them, play him the most hottest song, and he'll say it's why. It still says why. But I feel like those are the type of people you need around you because I feel like yeah, a lot yeah. of people in the industry they have a lot of yes men around them. That's true. Um, where they'll just put, they'll make records and people be like, yo, that, that's it, that's it, that's that's a hit, and mm-hmm. they won't, they won't grow. Or they won't, you know, they won't. Their music won't get um, past the point of where it is because everybody around them just telling them, "Oh, this is great, like that's fire." Instead of like giving them real criticism and real and real thought to it. That's true. So what did Diddy say to you? He was like, "Man, just like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Diddy got that swag. It's like, yo, man, I think you could change that a little bit. I think your voice, man, I think it's, I think it's cool, man. It's like you could sound like, you know, you could sound like." Because what I, what happened is that I reminded him of Slim from 112. Oh. So he was like, yeah, man, you remind me of Slim, but you could, you could, you could change it up a little bit. Like, he was nah, just giving funny. me, but but I could tell, but he was talking, but I could tell in his eyes, I could tell that he was messing with me a lot. I could just tell, like, he was like, <laughs> you got, I could tell that he was like, yeah, he got something. That's funny. Yeah, but Andre Harrell was loving my stuff, man. That's Andre great. Harrell was basically the guy mm-hmm. with Diddy, and he was just loving my stuff. He was like. His head, his, 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 you know, his. Was his it the mixed move. emotions or was it something? No, this was like it, something it was some like way back, way, when? way back when, gotcha, like gotcha. when I first, first started like becoming mm. a solo yeah, artist. Yeah, yeah. And you know what's so crazy? I was living with Dougie Fresh actually. A lot of people don't know. I was really? actually living with Dougie Fresh, so it was basically like a boot camp thing. Mm-hmm. His sons was like, "Come up." I started going up there a lot, and then you know he was like, "You might as well just like, you might as well just live with us." Mm-hmm. I was, I was looking like. Uh, but that, live that, with you. That, uh, that's yeah, a, sure. That's yeah, like I, a dope, but also kind of like weird. Like yeah, cause I'm thing. like, live with you guys. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm you no, know, I'm gonna say I'm not gonna tell them no. Yeah, I'm gonna say yes right away. And it'd be cool, cause then like you know you have someone right there to like play your music and like help you like yep. when you need the help, you know. And the boot camp was really good because a lot of people also don't know a lot of people been up there like Tiana Taylor, mm-hmm. Corey Guns, Drake even was up there like a lot too. Mm-hmm. Um, I could the list go on, man. Um, you a lot of people I probably they know who the, he is now, yeah, yeah, but yeah. UFO Fee, that's like that's Fat Joe's artist. Right. Everybody, we all been up there. And we just like started like you know creating good music and like started building the bonds and stuff like that's that. That's great. You know what I I say this with a lot of people who who I talk to, especially like you know young rappers and singers. I'm like I think it's important that like even if y'all might not be compatible to like work with each other like that, like the you, y'all gotta like make these like friendships and connections and shit because at mm-hmm. the end of the day you know like the older generation they're going they're going to help you they're, they're going to lead the way and all that stuff like that but they're not going to hold your hand you know it's really up to um like our generation to like help each other out you know right along you know in terms of like you know media to artists or media to media artists to artists so that's kind of dope to hear that like all of y'all while all of them are like under different, you know, mm-hmm. you under Dougie or Fat Joe's artist. Like y'all all make these connections and, and stuff like that mm-hmm. to like build and all that. So like I like I know like I know them know them. So when they put out like certain music, but like Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's love. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's, <laughs> it, that's it. So I wanna talk about so you're still are you still with Empire? Yeah, I'm still with Empire. Still with Empire. So I basically represent um I represent two time entertainment, which right. is cast of movement course, of course. under Empire. And, and Rock Nation and Rock Nation does what? Yeah, it's and, basically Rock Nation is basically there's a the lot of representa- moving parts. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Rock Nation, you know how it is. Rock Nation is basically the representation of Two Times Entertainment. Right. So if Cass need anything as far as like uh, little things here and there, if he, he want to do a, a a fundraiser or something mm-hmm. like that, he can go through. Them. I mean, because he's also signed to them. Right. So, so how did you go. how did you meet Cass? Well, I met Cass through, of course, like nowadays a lot of people meet artists through social media Mm -hmm. so i and i'm like a i'm a hustler so i met casanova through dave which davis is like his guy i got you davis is guy that like positions him and like Mm -hmm. tells him like okay you have you have a meeting here you have a meeting here i mean so uh they post something like we looking for artists to represent two times entertainment so i seen once i seen that i hit dave up 
right mm-hmm. away. And I like was in his DM. I was like, yeah, yo, Cash said he's looking for artists. Blah, blah, blah. He didn't get to me right away. So since he didn't get to me right away, then I DM Casanova. I was like, yeah, you looking? <laughs> yeah, I heard you looking for uh, artists. Blah, 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 blah. I do. I sing, write, no, produce. I, res- I respect that because you know what? That, that's that's, that's it, how man. you and I connected. So, that, yeah. so I, I, I respect your hustle. And mm-hmm. the, sorry, keep going. Yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Uh, we, so basically he was like uh, He was looking for artists I was like yeah man I sing, write, produce I do graphics I mix, I master I do everything Jack of all trades type So basically stuff. And I was telling him I was like basically If you have me under your team I could be an element Not just mm-hmm. being Somebody just trying to be a groupie trying, Just trying to be down right, I can right. actually do something For the team Right And that's how that go That's how that went mm-hmm. And then He didn't say nothing to me Then that's when Dave got back to me And was like yeah man We watching you uh-huh. And I was like oh and I was like, oh, they actually watching me. I was yeah. like, oh, man, this is crazy. So after that, um, the first time I met Casanova in person was, so he told me to come to the studio and like play them beats and stuff like that. And after from then, we just been like connected from them. That's man. dope. Like, that's like the big bro now, like the big big bro man. That's a, that's that's, gives no, me that's advice. a real that's a real big bro man. He you know he he's really out here doing like yeah man doing the and damn then his thing. story is like. I, you can't like not pay it. Yeah, it's it's story amazing. is amazing from like being around rappers, just chilling and knowing rappers to being your own rapper. Right, like it's amazing. His stories, his his gems is good too. He has his little gems here and there. Of course, too. of course, it's amazing man. So let's talk about the show you got coming up um, yeah, on the thirtieth. Yeah. Tell me a little about faces that. Faces in the crowd, where people can get the tickets at. You know, so basically, it's faces in the crowd. It's basically, it's actually my third time doing this. Actually, I oh. just I just felt so it's like, like an annual type thing. Yeah, yeah. Yearly so or it's, it's it's actually every month. Oh, okay. Actually, dope, dope, dope. So dope. yeah, I did it. I do it split, like I do it here and there and there. Mm-hmm. But this time, like every time I do it, I do it where I hit growth. Right. So the first time it was my starting, like when I was first mm-hmm. like doing the solo thing. Mm-hmm. The, the 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 second time was like I was in my little prime of it, and then I feel like now I wanted to do it now because now I feel like I'm like in that. That in that world, space. yeah, in that yeah. space where I'm like, okay, I'm even more comfortable with myself and stuff like that. And then the guy that actually um that puts it together, his name Reality, he is he's actually um the culture content guy at Title. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I went up there and I seen and I was like, yo, I was like, yo, I need, I want, I want to do the show. I was like, I want to do the show. It's been a while. I was like, I want to do the show. He's like, yo, it's like let's do it, let's That's do dope. it. It's been a while. Let's dope. do it. And then um. We took it from there and we just did it, man. It's gonna be other artists there too, like other up and coming artists. It's gonna be special guests. He ain't he don't wanna tell me the special guests, but uh you be, that that's how you know it's gonna yeah, be good. Yeah, it's gonna be dope, man. All right, cool. So tell people where they can get their tickets at. So you can basically go on facesinthecrowd.com or you can go on Ticket Web and mm. then you can put Faces in the Crowd. You can put SOB's Faces in the Crowd and it usually pops up in the search bar. And you could just go get your tickets there, and you know it's twenty dollars. Got you. Get your tickets worth it, cause it's like not just artists there. It's gonna be photographers there. It's gonna be uh everybody, everybody, stylists, everybody, man. Mm, so it's dope. gonna be fun. It's always fun. Dope. Well, thank you for coming, man. Yes, before, yes, yes. Before we let you go, let all the people know where they can follow you at, where they can get. Yeah, your music, yeah, man. All you that. can follow me at on Twitter on as Lamont Sincere. You can follow me on Instagram, Lamont Sincere, Facebook, Lamont Sincere Music. You can find me on YouTube at on Lamont Sincere Vivo. And that's about it as far as for social media. Yeah, dope, man. dope. Thank you for coming appreciate through, it, man. Appreciate it's on the radar. it. Appreciate it. See you next week. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. Get it. I'm so sincere. <laughs>